This project is extremely dangerous. <laughs> Hi all, and this is Skip from Skip's Messy Workbench, and welcome to my shop. I really did a cleanup, so uh, it's right now, it's, I don't think it should be called Skip's Messy Workbench, uh, but I guarantee you within a week or so, it is going to be the mess that it's always in. Anyway, um, I, I had did a video box opening a couple of days ago for a a 1928 Model A that I'm going to be doing, which is in die cast. And I haven't started it yet, but I plan to very, very soon. But I build more than just cars. I also like to do airplanes and also science fiction. And I have been wanting to do this series for a very long time. And I'm, I've decided that I'm going to take this series on as another project which will poss possibly take the rest of my life to finish but that's okay i'm not going to be in a hurry this is the lost in space tv show uh, series that i have as you can see i have the jupiter 2 and that's a mobius kit and it's not opened yet i've never taken it out of the cellophane that's not the one I'm going to be doing. You can see I have the chariot. This is actually a, um, a dollhouse hobby kit. I have the Mobius version of that on order. And uh, it's, it'll be in probably in a week or so. But that's not a big deal because I'm not starting on that one either. I also have the Lost in Space robot. That was made by Polar Lights. Not was, but still is made by Polar Lights. And um, I had bought that one first. And then I saw the Mobius B9 robot, which is this guy right here. And there's a lot of videos online of people that were building this robot, but I want to do more than just build it. I want to animate it. So I want to add the lighting. I want to add some movement to it. I want to, I want to do this up in a way that, well, is going to really st stretch me beyond maybe what my limits are, but that's okay. I, I have an electronics background. I was a controls engineer instructor uh, for the, a lot of my life. Um, so I'm going to give it an attempt. I'm going to start with the robot and I've already started breadboarding some electronics for it. Um, I also, at the same time, I, I purchased the, the, uh, photo etch for it. And I can't see my camera right now, so I hope I'm on camera, but I purchased the photo etch for it. I don't know if I'm going to use it. But I also know that if you don't get the stuff when it's available, sometimes when you do want to get it, it's no longer available. So anyway, um, I'm going to be starting with the B9 robot. Now, I had planned, well, I wasn't planning to do a box opening on this because there's others on the Internet. But I think I'm going to do it anyway. I'll just, I just won't make it a real long box opening. So... Hang in there, let me clean off the rest of this stuff on the bench, and I will be back in a minute. You're wasting our time, Earth Creature. I was programmed for more important work. Okay, we're back. And thanks for hanging in there with me. So this is a fairly large box, and I, I zoomed all the way out on my camera. So we'll see how this works out. 
<laughs> All right, so this, this guy is still in the cellophane. And I'm going to take the cellophane off of this thing and we'll pop the, the lid on this. Okay, oh, sorry I bumped the camera, it was thrown for my garbage can. So let's pop the lid on this thing and let's take a look at we have, what we have in here. So the first thing that we have are a lot of the clear parts. So you could see the, the, the chest or the top of the chest area and this looks like it's the the part that blinks when he talks. This oh, back here is the is the bubble, his head. So there's a lot of clear parts. Oh, and there's there's a uh, see if that's his the LEDs or the lights that goes on his chest. So uh, that's all clear. And then we have some more clear stuff here. And this is these are those side lights. And I'm not going to take this out of the bags yet. So that's a lot more clear stuff. We also have the pl some plastic parts here. This looks like the, the top of the, the, the base or the chest area with its accoutrements, with its rings and stuff. And this looks like it's part of the, the head area. And again, there's other box openings out there. This bag looks like it contains his feet. It's very obvious, I think, that you could see that this is, this is his feet. And it looks like all the parts for his feet are in that bag. And this one is for his other side, for his other feet. And then we have the, the legs. Oh, and it's kind of like rubbery, that's good. And his arms. So that's all good. There's a, looks like there's a couple of decals in there. Uh, I won't take those out of the bag either. Like I said, I'm gonna do a quick, this was a quickie guy, um, just to open it up because I needed to open it up and I wanted to start including you folks. Here's the instruction sheets. I already had the instructions because I downloaded them off of Scalemates. So I could take a look at it before I bought the kit, but the instructions are laid out. I think when I looked at them the first time, they're laid out really nice. But you know, it's a Mobius kit and I've had so much good luck with Mobius kits. They're just so well done. And I'm not selling Mobius, <laughs> but I think, I, I think most of you will know that, yes, they are well done. So that's all I'm going to do for this box opening. I know it's a real quick video. And um, I, like I said, I am planning to make the lights work and all, all the lights. I want to have the, the top in his head. Let me get the picture of them here. Here, I will use this one. Tilt my camera up here a little bit. I want to get this top piece up in here spinning plus that. Um, I don't know if I can make the head go up and down. We'll see if that's flexible enough to make it go up and down, but all these lights will work. The power pack that's on the side will actually start the whole thing up. Um, and I saw a video online of a guy who did this about maybe nine years ago or so. He 
had the treads moving just just like a tank and um, so I'm gonna try that also I'm gonna see if I can do something like that and I also uh, want to try using radio control so I'm, I'm branching out into areas that I've never been in before um, so you know follow along with me if you'd like like I said there's a lot of other videos online of people who have built this uh, in various different ways um, so and, and and because a lot of them are so old like nine years eight years um, electronics for it is no longer available I'm planning to be using probably an Arduino or several Arduinos um, I get, that's what I'm thinking at this point in time but that can change like I said this is going to be a, a long time project um, I, I don't see this being done for many 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 months um, but you know we'll work on it it's something to do I, I love I want to do the integration of the electronics with the model and and actually try animating this because I also have a Star Trek Voyager that I bought um, oh maybe three four five years ago while I was working yet and knowing that I wanted to get back into model building um, so I, I saw it it's the Revell issue of it and um, so I figured I better get it now because again sometimes when you do want to go get it they're not available anymore so anyway that's where we're at I'm gonna be doing this I already have sound files for 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 some of this for, for him I don't know I might have about 15 20 different sound so I'm gonna have him talk I want to get the chest blinking just as he does um, I'd even like to get his ears rotating I don't know if that's gonna be I've got to find that's why I had to open this box and I wanted to do it with you um, because I don't know how much room there's going to be to mount everything and I didn't want to make a base unit I, I want to try to keep everything in tack inside anyway I'm rambling on that's that's that um, so I'll I'll make a couple of videos you know here and there off and on <laughs> plus I'll keep a lot more on my website I have a photo journal at skipsmessyworkbench.com uh, it's a website that I built myself and I maintain it myself so it's a, what's called a static website static meaning that um, I don't have like any way for you to, to communicate with me except via email um, which is skipsmessyworkbench at gmail.com um, and but my plan is to have a bulk of what I'm doing also on my website so anyway I'm rambling on again so I hope you follow along and as I said I'm still going to be working on the 28 model a uh, the, the die cast this is just going to be another project on my bench <laughs> all right um, so hey thanks a lot give me a thumbs up I really would appreciate it give it a like and um, I want to thank you all subscribers and if you're not subscribed smack that subscribe button and uh, it's free I mean why not I like I said I don't produce a lot of videos so I don't I won't be bugging you a lot so anyway hey see you in around and I will see you in the next video bye